Hey guys, so it is the next morning and uh, I, I still feel like it didn't actually happen. <laughs> I still feel like it's surreal, it was a dream, that it wasn't really him or something. Oh my god, I wish I could go back and relive the moment over and over and over again. <laughs> and uh, I just, I'm so happy. He was very, very polite and a lot of people have been asking me what did he say to you and stuff, so I figured I'd go over our little conversation <laughs> and let you guys know, because I don't think I said that last night. Um, I was just so in hysterics, but so I waited there for like two hours outside of the place. It was like a lounge, bar, poker table area, and I don't think they were letting anyone in um, that wasn't like the plus one of the guest that was there, so I didn't try to go in. But, here's a little story for you. Holy crap, there was a lot of celebrities there, which I'm not really into anyone else that was there, um, but Kate Upton was there, Kid Rock, um, so of course a lot of professional um, poker players were there, and um, other celebrities and stuff like that. Sports people were there, there was a NBA professional basketball player, dude, guy, and I don't know, people were freaking out over him, and I, I don't know who he was. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that the guy's right in front of me, and that lady's over there and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I'm just here for gag. <laughs> but this one lady, and she was a cliche, and I, I hate to be like this, but she was a cliche, short, oriental lady. Her accent sounded more Chinese, so probably was Chinese. She had the visor. She literally had a visor on, even though it was a indoor and in the evening. And she had, like, um, a jump like tracksuit uh, sweatpants on and like a jacket. She looks sportsy, you know? And she was probably late 50s, 60s, something like that. And someone said, blah, 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 is in there. And she's like, where, where? I don't see him, where is he? And he's like, over there, you know, in that blue shirt or white shirt or whatever color shirt he's wearing. He's like, where? I don't see him. And where I was is I was waiting outside as everyone was entering the place for a while to catch Gak maybe before he went in there because um, I wasn't sure if I would be able to catch him when he left or how long it was going on or I didn't know the times of anything so I didn't see him go in so he must have got there really early or I just I didn't catch him going in and he was there with um, his co-worker or not well I guess co-worker but uh, the guitarist from Yellow Fried Chickens and um, there was another lady there who I didn't recognize, and I don't know if there was another gentleman there or not. I'm, I'm not sure, but... So I didn't see him when they went in there, but when it started, I heard announcements, and uh, the announcer host guy was saying, Oh, and we have international superstar here from Malaysia, Gakt. And I was like, Gakt, oh no, they're starting. I have to go over there. Oh my goodness. And I saw people, like, kind of lining up around the outside lounge area, because you could see right in. It was all pretty much open. And there was just like metal decorative grating, you know, to kind of make it um, separate from the rest of the casino. And so I was standing there, and then that lady was standing next to me, to the left. And then she started to climb the grating, because this was a few steps up. So the floor in the lounge was a little bit higher than the floor I was standing on. But still I could see, you know, into everything just fine. It wasn't like way up here. It was just maybe a foot. And she started to climb the grating. And she was leaning over, like, like right next to me. And eventually I was turning, I'm like, excuse me? And she just didn't get it. She leaned over, she's like, wow, wow, I don't see him, wow. Literally, that's all she was saying was, wow, I don't see him. And I was, I'm just thinking, oh my god, this person's going to get us kicked out. She is, she is, um, like, there was one security person. I didn't see any bodyguards or anyone that looked remotely like bodyguards and there was a lot of high-end people there and I didn't understand I'm like wow the security is really low for everyone that's there so she kept climbing up the grating and right in front of me I was sitting or I was standing in front of this little table and there was like some couches around it and then there was a poker table directly in front of me the poker table over slightly to the right and then one that was further back to the right and then one that was all the way over to the right and Gact was at the one that was like three kind of back at an angle so I could kind of see him but there was a lot of people that kept standing my way and everything but I saw him and his friend there with him and <laughs> the lady 
climbed over the grating and sat down on the couch in front of me. And I'm just staring at her like, oh my god. She's going to ruin everything. She didn't. What she did was she stood up. She walked over to the people there. And these were like the plus ones. They were like ladies, wives or something. I don't know who they were. But they saw her and were just kind of staring at her in shock. And then we looked at each other and were just like, this is not happening. This crazy little lady is, is actually climbing over the grating and coming in there. And then she went up to some lady and started tapping on the shoulder. Where is he? I don't see him. Where is he? Like, that's literally all she was saying. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand her mentality. I really don't. And then she walked around the whole area. And no one kicked her out. No one said anything. I was afraid to say anything because I didn't want to ruin my chances <laughs> with meeting anyone or ruining, you know, what was going on and stuff. So I'm like, okay, if she's just going to be a little weirdo and go around and say, where is he, where is he, then whatever. If she starts crap, they're just going to escort her out. But I didn't see her get escorted out. I don't know where she went eventually. Like, it wasn't that big of an area. But she, <laughs> she had the balls enough to go and do that. And I'm just like, damn, lady. I wish I could do that, but I just couldn't. And I was texting Christy the whole time, like telling her exactly what was going on and stuff. And she's like, well, go in there. I'm like, no, I don't want to get kicked out. I don't want to be that person, that, that crazy fan. So that is, that is what happened. And that was horrible. And then the other people were trying to hit on me. And I'm just like, no, dude, no, nah, go away. I'm not here for you. Like literally the hottest person in the world is a stone's throw away from me. Not happening. So, it was beautiful. So, uh, when everything was kind of rounding up, and it was getting, I guess, in the final rounds of the tournament and stuff, he started to leave, and um, I turned around. My heart started going so, 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 so fast when I saw that he was starting to leave. And I was like, okay, wait till you get a little bit closer, because I don't want to lose sight of him, of if he's actually leaving or if he's not actually leaving. And... I turned around, there was a whole group of people behind me now trying to watch because they're all looking out for Tiger Woods because this is a Tiger Woods sponsored uh, charity event. And he wasn't there, though. And everyone kept coming up like, where's Tiger Woods? He's not here. He's not here. It's his event, but he's not here. So go away, dude. Go away. Shoot. And um, so I turned around and I, I was like, excuse me, excuse me. And I made my way through the people. It was just that, like, move, bitch, get out the way. Like, like, dude, if you don't get out of my frickin' way, I'm going to cry. And <laughs> so I go out, and I turn left towards the entrance. And I call, like, Gakuto-san. And I'm like, I didn't say Gak, because I was like, okay, maybe he won't. I don't know, I don't know. I just, Gakuto-san. And um, his friend saw me, turned around, <laughs> but didn't didn't like tap gacked on the shoulder or anything so I was like oh no maybe I shouldn't do this but impulse so I started to hurry up a little bit I'm like and I called him out again and um and he turned around <laughs> and uh they moved the like the black stretchy tape that kind of lined off the area to line up and like take pictures in front of the background and stuff and there he was <laughs> Literally right in front of me, <laughs> and uh, the lady that was there with them, uh, she just kind of looked at me, and like, she knew. She knew I was there, and um, I'm all shy now. Um, <laughs> and, and <laughs> so he was there, and I was like, and he looked at me, and everyone else had walked past in front of him, and then was waiting on him. And I, I wasn't standing in front of his way, like, I wasn't blocking his way. I wasn't that, that creeper. But I was like, hi. And I was just, like, smiling, and I froze up, and I was like, hi. And I started laughing, I think. <laughs> and I said hi again for the third time. And, oh, my God. So, like, literally, I told him hi three times, and he just kept looking at me. <laughs> He was very patient though. He was very patient. He didn't like, like, are you gonna say something or what? And like, I was totally, I was starstruck. And um, so 
so then I was like, okay, like, Isaki, think, say something. And I wanted to like introduce myself and like tell him legit things that I've always wanted to tell him for years, but my brain just oozed out of my ears and fell to the floor. So I said, I just wanted to let you know, or I just wanted to say that I'm a really big fan and uh, I have a lot of admiration for you. Because earlier that night I was thinking, okay, what, what do I say? And then the word admiration came into my mind. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good word. That won't make me sound super fangirly. Admiration, I have admiration for him. That's a good word. <laughs> that was my train of thought. And uh, so I told him that, but I'm not quite sure if he actually heard that part. Because <clears throat> he was like, oh really? It's like, where are you from? And oh my god, his voice is perfect is oh, oh he's yeah people's voices sound different when they're recorded no 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 his voice is so smooth and just gentle and deep and uh, oh, it's, it's really it's really hot um <laughs> so yeah so i said oh I'm, I'm from las vegas here and um and then he was like, oh, okay, or something. I don't know, Ralph. Well, I was really, like, freaking out, so <clears throat> he was like, oh, or something like that. And then um, I asked him, because uh, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. I wanted to say things, and I just I couldn't think. And so I asked, oh, it would be okay to take a picture with you? <laughs> of course, I had to be that person. And I didn't think to bring a CD and ask him to autograph it or anything, which kind of sucks, but I think asking for an autograph and a photo when it's not like a meet and greet kind of thing is a lot, so I'll let myself slide with that. That's okay. I can live with that. So he's like, oh yeah, sure, that's, that's fine. Can I do it? I said, yeah, sure. And I had my camera with me, and if a friend came along with me, I was going to ask them to take a picture on the camera because it's a better quality than my phone. But I just had my phone out in my hand, and so I opened up to the selfie mode, and he took my phone, and he held it up, and he took this picture, like couple, uh, two pictures, and I'm smiling, and it just, I look so goofy, and I should have just did like my serious non-smile face so I look better, but and it, no, no one looks good next to him. He is, he is like, oh, all the attention is on him. So I was like, oh, thank you very much. And he was very sweet, and um, I didn't put my arm around him or anything because I was really kind of shy. I didn't know if he would be comfortable with that or not, <clears throat> so I didn't do that with him. And uh, I was half expecting him to do like the peace sign that he does a lot in um, his pictures on Instagram and stuff, but he didn't do that. So I'm like, okay, just just be cool, just look cute. And they're like, ah, yes, 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 yes. It was a wonderful moment. And then he gave me my phone back, and I was like, thank you. And then he started to leave and. I just like, have a lovely day, <laughs> and he turned around, and he shook my hand again, like when I first said, hi, I'm a big fan, and, and he shook my hand, and uh, so that was very nice, so I got to shake his hand twice, and he was very polite, very patient, and I, I really appreciate that, so, and I was the only one there that was for him, so, it wasn't a bunch of groupies or anything, and uh, so that's, that was my little conversation with the most important person <laughs> to me. So, yep, that, this is the little vlog of the happiest night of my life. <laughs> I still, I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <sighs> okay, I'm going to end it. Thank you so much for coming along. If you ever want to be gacked, I hope you're able to, because it will be the best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> I made it worth me with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.